Peace, everybody. This is Thomas Amal with a special edition of Conversation Corner. I'm really excited because I had the opportunity or I took some time, uh, a personal development day yesterday, and I, I listened um, to some audios of Les Brown, which these audios have been around for who knows how long, but he did a particular series, and uh, the, com uh, the series title was pertaining, and this particular section was pertaining to commitment, self-commitment. And it's in the series of which uh, one of a, a popular uh, saying of his is, when you shoot for the moon and you miss, you'll land among the stars. You know, so, and, and I really like that. And, it, and, and I'll say it again, when you shoot for the moon, shoot for the moon, and if you miss, you'll land among the stars. But to get right into what he was saying, and I'm just going to be really brief. I'm going to do two or three little clips. Just talking about this commitment thing, which he did such an excellent job of explaining in various different ways. But one of them is he talked about consciousness. Consciousness is what we are. you know. And when you say that you're actually committed to something with the right consciousness, the universe in turn conspires to do whatever is help that it can do or whatever it has the power to do to help that person who refuses to be denied. So if you put that energy into it, if you just, uh, if you just put all of that into it and whatever you want, the universe will turn around and do everything within its power to help you to make it come into fruition. But that does not mean that you won't have to go through obstacles. That does not mean that you may have financial issues. That does not mean that you might not receive the support. Um, that does not mean that uh, people will look at you differently. But as long as you continue to refuse to be denied and you have the right consciousness, the universe will uh, respond in like manner. You know, and the commitment, he one of the uh, uh, definitions that he gave also um, with commitment, which is something that it took a while for me personally um, to understand what commitment it was in its fullest. It wasn't because of relationships. I, I like being committed to relationships. I like being committed to sports and things like that. But I always had like some kind of limit going on. You know, it was like committed, but you know, like wait, oh, hey, you know, it was just like guarded kind of commitment on certain things. But when he says when you're committed, when a person is committed, they see and they recognize their alignment with the universe. They see and recognize with the alignment with the universe and that they are a channel for life which is expressed through them. You know, that's some serious stuff when you recognize that there is a reason that we are here. There's an absolute reason that we are here. So with that, this is Thomas Amal with Conversation Corner. I really hope that you enjoy and continue to watch my clips. I love, love, love. I get a lot of comments on um, how positive they are, how helpful they are. And I will continue to do this. And if there's any other suggestions that you may have, but first and foremost, we have to get this together. Personal growth, personal development is a necessity for us to be able to achieve and obtain whatever goals or commitments or desires or to intentions that we have. Feel free. Take a peek at the things that I'm doing. I have a number of people that are on my side. I ask that you click the link below. Join me. Let's make this, this thing happen. Thomas Amal, Conversation Corner. Click the link below. Peace.